Happy Halloween. I'm excited. I, I think we're probably not going to have that many trick-or-treaters tonight, which means I won't be interrupted while watching horror movies so much. Uh, but I have a book haul for you, a Halloween-ish book haul. Frankly, all of these, all of these, pretty, yeah, all of these have a creepy to horror component to them. So I'll just get to it and then I'll tell you some other stuff after. Um, first off, uh, Leah stayed over um, last week and we did an event together in Seattle and she left me a couple of signed books to do giveaways with. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway here on YouTube and yeah, you'll be seeing that soon. But not right now because I'm about to leave on a little mini tour which I'll tell you about in a bit. Um, I picked up I'm Not a Serial Killer by Dan Wells. This, these are from um, Half Price Books. I got these. Also, a beautifully unopened copy of Yvonne Wound's Dead Beautiful. Also very creepy. Um, and has that buttery cover that I so coveted and did not need. Um, Covenant by Dean Crawford. This is an alien type book. So not horror specifically, but um, it says it's Indiana Jones meets alien. Mm, Action-y creepy, whatever. Uh, also, while I was at Half Price Books, um, today, actually this morning, they were giving away one horror book to every customer. So, although this is not specifically horror, I picked up The Gunslinger, The Dark Tower by um, Stephen King, which is the first, um, it's the first book in the series, and I have not read it yet. I had to swing by the library because Daniel Krauss, uh, who you may be aware is a editor at Booklist, and is also a YA writer, wrote um, Rotters, did a list on a blog of his top 10 horror books. One of them was Dark Harvest by Norman Partridge. This is actually a really thin book. Plan on taking it with me on tour. And while I was at the library, I picked up um, Patrick Melton, Marcus Dunstan, and Stephen Romano's Black Light. These are the writers behind Saw. And um, yeah, I thought that this would be interesting. It sounds very, very creepy, serial killery, that kind of thing. Um, also, John Ashby Linkfist's uh, Handling the Undead. I have no idea if I slaughtered that. It's very possible. Um, he's the writer of Let the Right One In, and I've heard really great things about his subsequent books, including this one, and Little Star, which I believe is the newest one, and the horror-y. This is a zombie book, and I'm I'm excited to read that one as well. I also, because a large part of my tour that's coming up, which I'm about to talk to you about, is a road trip. And so I picked up um, from the library, 112263. There's no way I'm getting through with it. This is like a massive, massive amount of CDs. There are 30 CDs on here. So I imagine it's going to be like almost 40 hours total of listening time. I'm not going to be driving that long. It's crazy. Anyway, but let me tell you about the tour, just in case you're in one of the areas affected. Uh, I fly out tomorrow for Las Vegas. Um, on Friday morning, I'm doing a school event where I'm doing presentations at one of the schools, and then that'll be that. And then Saturday, I will be at the big Vegas Valley Book Festival um, in historic downtown Vegas. And yeah, it'll be exciting. I'm on a I'm going to be on a panel with the likes of Lauren Cade and Dan Herring and Melissa De La Cruz and lots of exciting people. So if you can make it to the Vegas Valley Book Festival on Saturday, that would be awesome. I would love to meet you. Plus, there's a signing from 3 to 5, so there you go. And I've been told there's a big steampunk extravaganza thing at like 7 o'clock that night, all for YA, and it's Kirsten White is the host with Suzanne Lazier and somebody else that I can't remember right now. Yeah. And then Sunday morning, I'm getting up at the butt crack of dawn with my rental car and driving out to Long Beach, where I'm going to be at the Long Beach Comic and Horror Con. That should be really exciting. I'm doing a horror panel with Gretchen McNeil and Jen Bosworth, author of Struck. So that'll be fun. And then staying, sticking around there, actually, because on Monday night, the 5th, I'm going to be at Mysterious Galaxy in Long Beach to do just crazy crap. Just, I don't know what, I, who knows what's going to happen there. Craziness, I'm certain of it. So, yeah, if you can make it to any of the events in the coming days, that would be fantastic. I would love to meet you guys. Um, and spread the word. Definitely spread the word. That's, that's it. That's all I've got for you. I wanted to make this as short as possible because I'm crazily doing laundry to pack. Bye.